When was the last time you felt unmotivated? Were things like going to work, going to the gym or completing your to-do list felt like the biggest core in the world? Chances are, if you're like most people, then you might feel this way every day. Too tired, sluggish and maybe even too depressed to get out of bed and move your life forward in a more productive direction. And this makes sense because actually about 85% of people hate their jobs while 36% of adults globally feel unhappy with their lives. With alarming numbers like these, it's no wonder why most people feel an overwhelming lack of motivation. But here's the thing, motivation, like any other emotion, comes and goes depending on the day. So if we just rely on motivation to get things done in our lives, then nothing will ever get done because motivation is fleeting. Now this is something that took me a while to figure out myself. But once I learned how to stay disciplined without relying on how I was feeling, then I was able to lead a more productive and fulfilling life. So today I'd like to share a few key steps for staying disciplined in your life when you're feeling unmotivated. So let's dive into it. Most of the time we suppress our emotions or distract ourselves instead of facing how we really feel. We turn to social media, our smartphones, video games and TV shows as a sort of coping mechanism. And this causes us to procrastinate and put off the things we need to get done, like exercising, working or doing house chores. So instead of ignoring your feelings, try acknowledging them instead. Because negative feelings and emotions are ultimately a signal that something's not quite right. So maybe you're feeling unmotivated in life because you have a deep fear of failure. Or maybe you don't know which career direction is right for you. Or maybe certain things like exercising or working at your job are not interesting or stimulating enough for you. These are just some of the reasons why most people don't develop discipline in life because they haven't stopped to acknowledge where that lack of discipline is coming from. From. But if you take the time to identify the root cause of why you're feeling unmotivated, then you can begin to understand yourself and your needs better. And with this newfound sense of self-awareness, you'll be able to make the necessary adjustments to shift your life in a direction that's right for you. So for example, many people feel lazy and unmotivated about exercising. But it's probably because they haven't found a type of exercise that they truly enjoy doing. Things like running, going to the gym or lifting weights aren't joyful experiences for everyone. Some people need something more visually stimulating like hiking in nature, whereas other people prefer easy and low impact exercises like walking around the block for 20 minutes while listening to an audiobook. In short, you need to identify why you're feeling unmotivated about exercising or starting a new hobby or whatever it may be. Because if you can identify the why, then you can identify how to fix it. Jim Rohn is an author and entrepreneur that I admire. And to this day, I follow a quote that he once said, we must all suffer from one or two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is discipline weighs ounces while regret weighs tons. So let's break this down. Take a moment right now and reflect on your life. Think about all the things that you could have done, but you didn't do because you were feeling too lazy, tired or unmotivated. Chances are you feel regretful and the pain of that regret is probably weighing heavily on your shoulders. You can go back in time and change what has already been written, but you can cultivate discipline right now to change your story for the future. And yes, being disciplined each and every day will be a little painful because change is always painful. But that pain, as Jim Rohn said, will only weigh a few ounces. It is such a small amount of pain in comparison to the pain of regret, 
which will weigh heavily as you grow older because you begin to run out of time to change your life. So I think this mindset is so important because it's like the burning fuel for staying disciplined every day. I could rehash things that other people have said, like create a routine or use a to-do list, but these don't usually create discipline for the long term. If they did, then everyone would be more disciplined. That's why it has to come from within. In other words, your reason for being disciplined has to come from a place where you need to change your future for the better. Not because you feel like it or you want to, it has to come from a place where you must do it. On days when I feel unmotivated, I know without a doubt that I will get my tasks done because I have a strong need to avoid the pain of regret in the future. I think that for many of us, we tend to do things that give us an instant gratification in the present moment. Don't get me wrong, it's great to live in the present moment and engage in activities that bring us joy, but it's usually in an effort to make our current selves happy, while our future selves have to clean up the mess and feel that pain of regrets. And this makes sense because if we do things like exercise, clean up our house or work on a hobby, who gets to reap the rewards? Our future selves. So this is a concept called delayed gratification, which is when you resist the temptation of an immediate reward for an even bigger reward later on. Every day you have a choice. You can either choose instant gratification, AKA the smaller reward that will make your current self happy for just today, or you can delay this gratification and put in the work so your future self can reap even bigger rewards and without any regrets either. For most people, they live for today. They want that instant gratification through doom scrolling on their smartphones or engaging in many activities that are fun and stimulating. They're choosing the smaller reward. If you live for your future self, you'll be rewarded with something that most people will never get to have a happy and fulfilling life. And that's because your future self will get all the benefits of working hard for today. Whether it's continuously studying a language, exercising, working on a craft or investing in a side hustle. By making the mental shift from living for your current self to living for your future self, you'll be able to stay disciplined for the long term because your efforts today will pay off tenfold in the future. This is definitely a hot topic that a lot of people are struggling with and I hope that these tips will help you shift your mindset and your habits toward a more disciplined future. At the end of the day, motivation comes and goes like any other feeling, so we can't rely on it to get things done in our lives. Let me know if you struggle with discipline in the comments below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content coming soon. Also, follow me on Instagram at Wendy Buiter. And I'll see you in the next. Bye!